There we go, we're back. That was, that was really, really weird. I don't know why that happened. Like, I just got a little pop-up. It's like, OBS has lost connection. Like, what? <laughs> Something may have happened to the router. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, hopefully that, that looks like it's fine. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna continue going then. Alright, so... Yeah. Whoa, Unity? Are you okay? Yes. God damn it, Unity! Let me in! <laughs> Yeah, I just recently watched like all of Rick and Morty. All the yokes. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get, take you guys back to art. Now what I'm gonna do. Delete that and I'm going to make the upgrade points. Or rather the little slots that the upgrade points will fit into. Can you guys guess what those are going to be? <laughs> Honestly, what I want to do is... And I'm holding Shift and Alt to do this, by the way. It lets you kind of pull in... There we go. Yeah, okay. That looks good. So I need to save as... Also, yeah, um, hmm. I right, just saved those. You know, I'll, I'll just work on this first. So yeah, that's upgrade empty, so now we can flip this around. And make like a little, you know what, let's, let's make a little gradient, just to, just to make it look nicer. Gradient. I don't know if that's appropriate, because this seems a bit too complex for the game. <laughs> that looks weird. But yeah, we need like some way of signifying that it's filled in. I'm kind of not liking this too much. We could give it a color in game. Yeah. Right, whoops, I did not export upgrade empty. Not well, let's uh, export this now. Let's use our cords, yes, upgrade full. File, open, where is upgrade empty? Here we are. File, export, export as, use our cords, upgrade empty PNG, yes. Alright, let's stick this back into Unity. And yeah, this is not going to be the final version of this. Like, I still need a place to display how many upgrade points you have. It's probably going to be like another kind of sticky note like this. How many up upgrade points you have. Because I actually kind of like how this looks. And, uh, yeah. We'll see. I kind of want to put that at the top somewhere, but that's going to be a bit of an issue. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. UI, no, not UI. It's background, main background, UI background. It's... Yeah, no, it's confusing. I need to label all of these better. And five twelve. Right. So yeah, what we're gonna have here? Oh, whoops. No. Keep forgetting I need images. Upgrade empty. See? And then we're just gonna do upgrade full. Whoa, that looks weird. Yeah, we can just do like whatever the color of the thing is. 
Or just like whatever color we want. We can change it to whatever. Or we're gonna have it like that. That looks weird. Like honestly, it just looks a bit, uh, yeah, I, I don't like that. It looks a bit too done up. Probably just gonna have like a white circle instead. Is full upgrades. There is full upgrades. That and put in the middle. Why did I also put in a new upgrade empty? It's weird. Hmm. Anyway. And upgrade full. There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do upgrade empty. And then on top of that, you will have upgrade full. There we go. That looks fine. Let's see how does that look? Actually in game. Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, okay, uh, upgrade full is actually just gonna a uh, black border. Or was it like 10 thick? Yep. There we go. Save and exit. Yeah, I'm just making upgrade full have uh, board its own border instead, so I don't have to put it on top. I'll just like replace the pictures, and I think that'll look better as well. Five, one, two. Yeah, excellent. So don't need this. Do need this. Boom. So yeah, I'll just replace between those. Mm. Why does that look so like? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try something else to take go back to art. Alright, where is it? Uh, file. Set up for it. Instead of 512, we're gonna make 1024. Now we're gonna put this at the edges again, stretch it out, and then pull it in, holding Alt again. There we go. Well, that should be fine. File, save, file, export. And yeah, since these are UI elements, I do want them to look good, right? Because people are going to be seeing these quite a bit. We can just change, we can just save as upgrade empty. And literally all I did is just take out the center there. It doesn't look like it, but it's actually missing its white center now. See? So uh, it won't give problems later on. Where upgrade empty and free four. Yeah, and I just gotta change these to spray to the UI and take that to 10.4. And black. And we're done. Now we put this in here. Dang it, it still looks janky. I think it just might be too thin.
Okay, what if we change the size? Okay, first of all, let's put the scale all up to 1. It's fine. Are all these, like, off scale? No, just being weird. Wait, the changing the scale, like, by that point 0.1, no, it won't make much of a difference. But we want the width to be lower than this, like, maybe... 80, but no, not oh, 08, 80. Because you don't want them to be quite so big. Let's try like 60 by... Uh, 60. Come on. Don't let me type in 6. What the heck? Uh. There we go. <laughs> Alright, good to know. Thicker borders. That's what we need. Thirty point, nah, forty point, maybe even like fifty point. That works. All right, save and file export. Honestly, like, hang on. Um, hmm. we don't even need it to be that big. Nah, let's just leave it. It's fine. Because, like, I, I'm also trying to conserve space, right? I don't want these games to be super huge. Gonna upgrade full. Set this to 50. Ridiculous. Jeez. And then save and export. Right. I just realized I wasn't showing you guys all the Unity stuff. It gets... Mildly annoying switch. Not mildly annoying, it's just hard to keep track. Which is where. Oh, geez, hang on. I've realized why this is not giving me problems. Forgot to use artboards for exporting upgrade update. There we go. Now I can replace it. I can delete this. Just doing stuff in the background, don't mind me. <laughs> Nothing important happening. There. And got those in. I love that they look exactly the same. It's really funny. There we go. Now you can see the difference. Okay. Why? What am I missing here? Like, see, we have, like, curves and stuff here. Why is this looking pixelized? Why? Why is this pixelated? Dang it. No, I'm not gonna change it. Hmm. Yes, even at native size, it looks weird. No. 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 <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just messing around with stuff. Uh, 60 by 60. There we go. Like, see, if I zoom in enough, it's fine. But when I zoom out, it starts going all wonky. Hmm. I think the issue might, it might actually, funnily enough, be too big. Alright, switching it back to art. Because, yeah, sometimes uh, an issue will be when you have, like, gigantic images. So, from 1024, let's go to 128. Bit of a change, bit of a change. <laughs> so yeah, having the weight now be at 50 kind of changes it too much. There we go, okay. I just gotta shift an alt and like kind of pull it in. Just gotta be careful not to do it too much or too little. There we go. Alright, that'll be fine. 
this is for upgrade empty, and I can just remove upgrade full. So no, export, export as upgrade empty, use artboard. Yes. Export, replace. And this, we're just gonna save as upgrade full. Save. Yes. So then we're just gonna put this to white. Save again. And we're gonna export. Uh, it's so nice having stuff like this. Like, I can do rapid iteration myself instead of having to wait. And then, like, later on, if need be, right, you can do, like, you can actually get good artists and stuff to actually go over this. And do a much better job than I can. Oh, you're joking. Did it not save properly? Come on, upgrade. Ah, uh, it was misclicked. There we go. All right, let's export this again. No, 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 cancel. File, export, as. There's just like a shortcut of this. All right, and take me back to Unity now. Just gonna delete, upgrade the full. And copied over. Just gotta change over sprites, set this to 128. And d d hope this works. Hey! Oh my god, that looks so much better. Okay, um, set native size. Oh, that, look at, like, look at that. That looks so much better. Alright, let's do like. 50 and 50. No, it does not work. Uh, 64 and 64. There we go. Still a bit of rough. I mean, even at this size, there's still a bit of roughness to it. No, actually, there isn't. Alright. Well, that's what we have to do. Alright, one last little bit of change. This is going to be 56 by 56. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, sorry, uh, 64 by 64, not 56. There we go. I am still kind of getting getting the grasp on uh, Unity's all like the UI stuff. I do, from time to time, have to hack stuff together to make it work properly. I think just half, yep. OK. Ah, this is gonna be so annoying because it's just 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 a tiny so you have to zoom in a lot and then hold alt. there we go okay we're fine yeah if you want to make small changes you need to be like zoomed in mm. there we go and the reason I was doing that is because yeah gotta make sure that there's white spaces all over all right so this is full so I will export this use artboards export okay replace and then just clear out the center I will save as upper empty save yes okay and then export hey all right let's see what we got we got to delete the previous ones so hopefully this should be half the size and it should be about what I'm looking for Oh, UI. I find that, like, that that's kind of the only problem that I have with Unity. It, the UI is not the best to work with. It's here and there, really. Ugh. Uh, can I just, like, set native size? This is its native? No, it shouldn't be. No, no, no. 64 by 64. There we go. Oh, that looks gorgeous. See, that's kind of what we're looking for. What we might have instead of having those like kind of filled in is uh like we might have a black color we might have like scribbles or something or i don't know we'll see it all depends right like we can just have it be like that and just change between this and this but that doesn't look nearly as nice as having that like changing between that and that 
we're probably gonna have to put in some kind of pattern in the center just because like like honestly like a, like a kid like kind of scribbling it in but eh, it looks fine for now it is all good don't no 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 need to worry Alright, and this is ray gun pip one and then ray gun pip two. So put it in brackets. Actually ray gun pip. And yeah, you can just name them the same. Be easy, probably be easier to find them later on. Programmatically, I mean. All right, now, Control D and move them down here. About there. Are these? Yes. Perfect. Aha. All right. So these are no longer ray gun pips. They are now. You know what? I'm just gonna call them cone pips. Pip. Actually, that's why. Why does this, why is the second one always first? Makes no sense. This, I was having the same problem with uh, with like other UI stuff as well. Makes no sense. And go pip one. Oh, whoops, go pip apparently. There we go. And yeah, the nice thing about these tabs is I can just kind of like put in other stuff if I want to. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll see. And eventually I'm going to want to make it so... Let's grab them. Dang it. Effect. Oh, that looks off because of the marble bag. The mar the ice cream cone needs to be down a bit more. Uh, about there. Perfect. All right, those are more aligned now. Right. I completely forgot what I was saying. Because I do kind of get into this, and I'm a slight bit of a perfectionist. So I do like just get focused on my work and then forget what I was saying. Error. Yay, all the things they're added. Okay, um what else? What else? What else? That pencil is probably gonna need to be moved. We'll have to see. I'm actually gonna grab the continue button. Just make a copy of it. It's also going to be here. I'm just going to drag it down. This one is not going to be rotated. It's going to be at zero rotation. And see, the reason is uh, I don't want this pencil up above. You know what? This pencil can kind of go like here. There. That does not make too much sense, but whatever. For now, we'll see. I'll think of something, but yeah. Um, but where's my text? So this is going to, actually, no, no, you know what? This doesn't need to be a button, does it? No. And yeah, that pencil was just annoying me, so I'm gonna do this. Up. And a bit away. Honestly, you can even have it like be coming off screen a bit. Yeah, that works. Perfect. All right. So for this, I just actually, I don't need this to be a button. I just realized. Yeah, this doesn't have to be a button. This does not need a button script. Because what this is gonna do, once 
Let's see, where's those icons? On the proper screen? Nope, nope, not at all. <laughs> I'm sorry that that keeps happening. I just keep forgetting. All right, where is it? Here we go. I'm gonna put this, nope, not in there. We're gonna move this here. Well, not the entire thing, dang it. This is gonna be text. And the text we're gonna pull in here. And it's just gonna say like zero for now. And we're gonna put it uh, down below a bit. There we go. And in there, we're gonna add a new UI and add a new image. And the image is gonna be this. Looks weird, right? Yeah. The scale keeps changing for no reason to be like that. I don't know why. Anyway. Yeah, this image is not supposed to be quite so big. Alright, and color. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna use that for now. But I will I will change that like later on. Or we'll see. I might actually put in something else instead because the light bulb is kind of uh, dreams display the light bulb is kind of like the thing that's associated with like you know ideas and whatnot but yeah what I might do instead is I'm gonna remove this image and it'd be like have the number that's too big. Yeah, so I'm just going to pull this down so the number should always be. And pull this in as well and pull this down. There we are. Pull this up a bit. There we go. So this is going to be number. Because honestly, like at most, this is going to go up to that much. So it's not at all a problem. That's going to be like at its highest going to copy this over, pull it down a bit, and I'm just going to type in dreams. Yeah, that's kind of what I was afraid of. Hmm. <laughs> Especially since the number is like so high and awkward. Oh, we can put it there. Honestly, the number we can probably make up to like 60. Maybe even like 80. Yep, all right, that'll be fine. I just don't want to obfuscate, obfuscate any information. You know what? Let's set that to like 75. It should be fine, or even 70. Yeah. That'll be fine. Right, currently, zero dreams. Why is this like not. Yeah, alright, that looks better. That like slight color difference. The fact that the text is gray instead of black. Ugh. All right. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of very much like the slapdash nature of this screen. Yeah. And yeah, honestly, the circles are not going to be that perfect always. It's going to look more like, more like scribbled in. And stuff like that. I'm just, I'm just keeping it like that for now. But yeah, that is, uh, that is one screen done. And now all I have to do is kind of copy, copy stuff over for stuff and fort and friends. It's not even gonna be that hard. So yeah, for the fort, you'll be able to. 
Honestly, do you, do I want you to be able? Like the question is, do I want you guys to be able to upgrade stuff? Because maybe you can make doors. Like you can make doors like withstand better and like stay closed for longer. I haven't added the cookies yet. That's going to be later on. But yeah, withstand better and then be closed for longer. Okay, that works. Ladders, what the heck are ladders gonna do? First level of ladders, it's gonna stop. Yeah, okay, I like that. Uh, basically, as la ladders level up, they'll stop goo from coming through. Goo, nightmares. And then bookcases will basically just like uh, I don't want to make them have more books because that's going to be more work for me. I'm just going to make the books restore my imagination. Like, it's just going to be, like, better quality books. And then I'm going to have to come up with some kind of visual representation of that. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Ooh, Okay. <laughs> what I can do what I can do for the libraries uh, for the bookcases is um, they'll be one quarter less books but they'll be worth twice the imagination so out of the currently like I think there's 20 or so books they'll only be 15 but they'll all be like thicker and then on the next level they'll only be 10 but they'll all be like like four times as thick as the original ones <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Maybe something like that. Maybe. We'll have to see. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Hang on one second. Let me just see something. Da -da -da -da. <sighs> just send off a message. Just getting some opinions for the upgrade screen. And yeah, then the friends are going to be a problem. Because the friends are all just going to be... Um, there's six of them. And I have to fit them on like one page. So I might make friends one and friends two. To like kind of fit this in more. So I might have to make both friends a bit, a bit smaller. Hmm. Sweet. All right. I'm glad you like it, folks. <laughs> yeah, like I've like I'm actually a big fan of this. It looks so slapdash, and I like it. Might turn that pencil in a bit more, but so far, looking good. Yeah, and yeah, basically, I'm once this is like all polished up, uh, these circles are gonna be drawings, and the the guns instead of having their actual like images here, they'll be like drawings of all the all the toys and the stuff and everything like that. But yeah, all right, there we go. That is one screen made. And then all that's going to happen, let me just unpause this, is, see, like, weapon upgrades. I can just make all this disappear and put in something else. And it's just going to be so much easier. It's going to be great. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh well, all right. Let's uh, let's see then. Uh, I'm gonna make a prefab of this. Where are my prefabs? To get sprites, don't need sprites anymore. Oh, I'm gonna need sprites. Uh, UI. Sure. There we go. Made a little UI prefab for weapon upgrades. Gonna copy this over. Gonna take this out. And then this is going to be stuff upgrades. So it's going to be called. Because, yeah, I'm going to have to have some way to differentiate, like, what they are, right? All right, there we go, stuff upgrades. So instead of... 
Honestly, there's probably not much point to prefabbing them, but I'm going to do it anyway. Might allow me to like change some UI elements around, but I think all the UI elements are going to be fairly similar to each other, but oh well. All right, so it's going to be like the Yego brick. Yep, there we go. I need sprites again. <laughs> Weapons. Ignore the actual name of it in the in, in the editor. That does not count. <laughs> let's make it like let's make it like a nice. Nah, let's just leave it red. It's fine. Yeah, go brick. Uh, paper plane. That is Papa plane. <laughs> <laughs> Let's set native size, shall we? Okay. Okay, that's better. <laughs> that looked really funny. My bag and then smell if this. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna call this smiley. Differentiated from smiles by, you know, not having an S at the end. This needs to be like a yellowish color. A happy yellow. There we go. See, so at the paper plane, I'm going to set to what? Kind of like a darkish. There we go. Just to like be able to stand out from the back of the page a bit more. And great, this is gonna have to be moved up a bit. Perfect. That's just this is great. There we go though. See, like it's so easy to add stuff now, right? One of the benefits. Definitely one of the benefits of programming. You make it. Well, actually, I'm not. I'm not gonna call this. I'm just gonna call this brick. I'm just trying to keep the things simpler because then I don't have to deal with spaces and all the annoyances that come with spaces. But again, this is just all internal stuff. Really, how I designate it in here doesn't really have much of an effect outside. <laughs> plenty, not plain, plenty. This is not good. Um, no. Because um, each individual thing is going to have to find them individually, basically. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'll just find them by name. I'll just find them by name. It'll be fine. I'll just have a manager just search for exactly what it needs, and everything that says plain, or at least has plain in it, it'll be able to find. And yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's, 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 relax, relax, guys. It's, it's all good. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be fort upgrades. Yeah, that's really annoying. Um, hmm. All right, I need to duplicate the friends tab, and then kind of like grab all of these, and then just kind of like pull them in to like there, I guess. Ooh, that does not look good. Nope. So honestly, it kind of works. Eh. So yes, just need to change this color a bit to like a darker. There we go. The only problem is they kind of cover each other up, which is where... Uh, uh. <laughs> Grr. Grr at the things. I don't know why these were extra extended. That's weird. 
it should be keeping to its own. Hmm. Oh no, that was the text crap. Image pull, pull in image. Chis, chis. How rude! How very rude of it. Oh wow, friends are gonna have to be like even smaller. Yeesh. Alright. So about there we'll do, so now I can just copy this over and pull it down to where it needs to be. Excellent. Dang it. Close that. There. Hey! And honestly, just need to kind of grab all of them. And uh, pull them up a tiny amount. That's fine on both sides. Excellent. So first things first, gotta make this into like a deeper blue. Then gotta change the text. Jesus, friends is just really a problem. Hopefully that's still readable. And this is even gonna have to be probably like 28 because it's gonna be like friends too. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, probably even gonna add like. Nah, we don't need the the the, the number there. There we are. All right, let's see how it looks in game. All right, friends, friends, and friends too. Fort stuff toys. Perfect. Everything works. If only I can make them like sloping down. <laughs> I mean, it probably can. I don't want to. It won't look anywhere near as good. Well, it might not look as good. There's not like there's there's never guarantee in these things. Come on. You can't just say it won't ever look as good. Yeah. So stuff upgrades. Now it's fort upgrades. So then this will be door. Oh, wow, where the heck am I going to find a sprite for a door? Oh, right, I need to... Don't mind these. These are all old sprites. From back when this was Omicron Crisis. <laughs> Let's just say that the game has gone through some iterations. Some iterations, not a lot. <laughs> Right, the bear's not together. Oh no. Ugh. Nah, that's just great. Man, I really wish I could in interchange images into here. Like, that would be so handy. Instead of, like, having to now rebuild the bear. I also need to find the proper bloody script for it, which is gonna be great. And can we just have like no color, thank you? Awesome. All right, so body, UI, image, I, can, I should probably just be, yeah. Head, I should probably just be copying this over. Why did it take me to sprites weapons? It's weird, there we go. And yeah, as you can see, the head does have a couple of different, uh, like, animations. That will come into play later. I haven't done that yet. Because, yeah, the bear is going to have, like, you're going to give it a cookie. And then the bear is only going to keep the door closed for as long as it eats the cookie. So the first upgrade level is going to make the door stronger. The second upgrade level will make the cookie last longer. 
just to be like extra cutesy. All right, so uh, arm left, whereas left hand, and arm right, bare hand right, and and yeah, for some of these things, it's easier to do them. Shoot, uh, which is the proper one? Okay, these ones, the left O one and right O one, because they're higher quality. Right, leg left, bare leg left, and leg right. Wait, is this the? Are these the proper hands then? Bare hand right. Yeah, 512. Yep, 512 by 512. Right, technically, this is uh, this is arm right. Because we're looking at it mirrored. And this is arm left. Its left hand is actually holding up the rope. This is leg right and leg left. All right. Oh, come on. Really? Come on. Uh, my shift is slowly failing me. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Most times it doesn't work. <laughs> Not most times. Sometimes. All right. Uh, buildings. Pillow door to Teddy. What is Teddy? What is your bloody... um? Let's see, body, head, torso. Wow, all these things can be moved individually, perfect. Like, I really went overboard with Teddy. Yeesh. Right. And ba-boom. All right, so that's it for that. And we're gonna need a rope. Really? Ugh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's fine. It just takes a lot of work. Alright. Alright. Uh, and then... Rope. Just realized this could look like super shady. With uh, What spread are you using? Rope one tall. The fact that this bear is just kind of holding a rope can look super shady. I just realized, oh god. <laughs> Alright, rope one tall. Sprite is just, yep, rope one tall. Where the heck is rope one tall? Oh, those are really legacy doors. I don't need those. So instead of door rope two tall, we need rope one tall. Yeah, that looks better. And I'm just gonna you know, move it over. And change its color slightly. There we go. I figure that's clear enough for approximately what it's supposed to be. Right. Oh, right. Um, no, dang it. All right. What time is it? It's 3.30. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a 10-minute break, guys. And then I'll be back. I just need to go grab a quick snack.
And I'm back. Alright, let's see, where were we? Right, changing these things around. So, we have the door fixed up. Right, you know what, let's just call this Teddy. Might cause issues later, but meh. <laughs> oh, how the heck am I gonna upgrade the things? The easiest is probably to access the D2D Destructible and change up. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's how I'm gonna do it. Alright. That works. Alright, so, and then rope. Or rather, ladder. And then, uh, right, right, right. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys over to art right now. Because I need to actually make some changes to the ladders. I mean, you do this for, like, quite a while, because at the moment, you can't tell what the heck is going on. Shoot. Now, I'm gonna have to unpack some stuff. Everything's in zip files for my sister. And yeah, my sister is actually the one doing the artwork for this. Do we have the right rope and doors? Yes. Looks like it. Okay. Honestly, I'm just going to pull out what I need from the illustrator bases. Let's see. Rope tall. Stairs. Okay. Hmm. There. Now let's see what we got. It's just like curiosity. Can you guys see that window? No, you can't see the like explorer window for opening up things. Interesting. Alright. Right, okay, don't need that then. Stairs to texture. Leave that on. This is what we need to change. Whoa! Wow, she made that really tall. <laughs> I'm just gonna, so I don't overwrite this, um, rope ladder. And save it in port. Yeah. There. Ugh. She made these, like, really awkwardly. It's unfortunate. Uh, take that out and that out. Oh, come on. What else are you grabbing on to? Yeah, yeah, this is how their uh, this is how the ropes are built. <laughs> Unfortunately, all of the uh... eh, there we go. All the texturing and stuff is done individually. It's not all group, and it's not all like you know added on to one another. Just so she has greater control over it, right? That makes it really that's long. That makes it unfortunate, though, when you actually need to do stuff with it. Like I am right now. Right. First off, let's uh, good document setup. Let's edit our artboards. What is our artboards? You know what? Um, let's make them both 256. There. I don't think those are the same distance away. Let's just put them here. Does it tell me? Yes. Let's make them like minus 40, all right? That's minus 40.8. Come on. There we go. Whoops. Because I just selected that one. Let's shift. And 40. Mm, let's make it like 45 or 50 even. Yeah. 
50.69. So this needs to be moved by 10 point minus 10 point 10 and a half. About there. That might still be a bit too wide. Now what? It'll actually be fine. Mm, let's make it like just 10 more points inward. Come on, there we go. And yeah, these don't have to be like perfect, because they're still like full of work. There we go, alright. So now, just need to grab these, oh, whoops, and to copy those over. And if you guys are curious, you copy those over by just holding alt. It's super easy. Uh, cut these and cut these. There we are. I'm just gonna leave this out here because that's gonna be like the easiest to grab. And these need to be. I need to take out one more then. Including this. There we go. Alright, now these like fit around perfectly. And all I'm gonna have to do. You just kind of tweak these a bit, where they kind of merge. Actually, hang on. I wonder if I can. I'll collect everything and just pull it in. Yeah, sure. Why not? That actually kind of works. I ain't gonna need one of these as like a little prefab to put over there as like a little tie. Not prefab. I've been doing Unity too much. Not a prefab, a group. <laughs> Yeah, so I want to have this, like, kind of shrunk and, like, flipped around. Because I want it to look, like, kind of like a knot. Which this is, like, not looking at all. Hmm. Dang it, I was hoping to avoid this, but it looks like I'm going to have to uh, do some, like, non-standard modifications. Oh, those are multiples there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I can pull that in. Handy. This is gonna be like a little bit. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit awkward. Cause yeah, this is not my artwork. This is my sister's, so I'm gonna have to like manhandle it a bit. A bit of manhandling, unfortunately, and it's not gonna look the best. But hopefully, I can make it work. Just put it there. Pull it in. There we are. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this instead. There we go. That actually kind of looks like it's what it's supposed to. 
surprise. really annoying. was one too many. Okay. There we go, that I can work with. Yes, there we go. Okay, we actually got a connection this time. And yeah, this is very much just gonna be jiggered into place. I mean, hey, if it works, it works. I want to kind of cover up that, uh, that little sharp bit right there. There we go. So, like, again, like I said, I'm just gonna kajigger everything into place. It should really have a second one, but honestly, like, these are so small, it won't really matter. Like, you won't really be able to tell the difference. Well, unless you watch the stream and you know all the things going on underneath the hood. <laughs> In which case, it doesn't count. There we go. Okay. Hey! Alright, that kind of works, except this needs to be flipped. Five works. Might need like even a bit lower. Yeah, that's fine. And yeah, you know guys, honestly, like, whatever works, right? There we go. 
that even like looks good. That one can use a bit of changing. There we go. pieces mm, what do you mean on the wrong layer like it that's about okay okay how about this left or right side like left or right side because like I'm moving around too fast for you to tell me other side doesn't help Left or right side? Right, okay. What is what is wrong with the la- hang on. There we go. Okay, what is wrong with the layering here? It's fine. Uh no, it's it's not delayed messages, it just takes a while for it to appear. Cause I like I have uh, chat up on my tablet. Yeah, I know, I know, but this is like so much simpler, right? Because what it's supposed to do here is supposed to be like a wrap around, like a little knot. So I'm probably just gonna leave it like this. My sister will fix it eventually at some point. Yeah, there's supposed to be like knots there and everything and uh, nope, not gonna be doing that. Now I gotta just move this away. Strip out the things I don't need. Sorry if it bugs your OCD, dude, but there's like not much I can do about it because if I change its layering, I'm gonna have to change the entire look of it, right? This is fine, it's just wrapping around. It's, it's all good. Like if I put it on top, oh, whoops, come on, shift, there we go. If I like arrange this, bring to front, it's gonna look weird, see? can't be on top. Even if it did that, it would be like a huge issue. Not the end piece? Then what piece? What, like this one? Oh, you mean the fact that it's like slightly bigger than everything else? <laughs> Is that what's bugging you? <laughs> No, no, they're fine. It's just that, that this one is actually a bit scrunched. <laughs> this is actually really funny. Yeah, yeah, that's... See, the, the here, I'll show you. One sec. If I just do... Eh. And a bit more... Eh. There, see? Like, that fixes it. I don't know why it's layered uh, layered like that, but yeah. There, feel better. Like that's okay. Now that's bugging me. God damn it, man! This is what I get for listening to you. <laughs> but yeah, no, that that does need to be fixed at some point. I gotta fix it. <laughs> uh, no, that needs to be up a bit higher. Cause you do, like, the thing with these ones, see, you do want them to have, like, little waves, right? Okay, that's fine. This one have the same problem? No, we're all good. Okay, 
don't know why they're having such kind of layering issues. Oh no, that means I have to delete this now. Oh, uh, fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna group these because that's gonna make it a lot easier. Alright. Those are so off. No. Yeah, I mean, that looks like a rope ladder, right? That should be just fine. Might want to add, like, a bit, uh, like, one more rung to it. You know what? I'm actually going to use something else for this. Uh... There we go. There we go. Uh... 50 pixels. What, where the heck is... What the hell? Alright. No, that's X, Y, yeah. 50 by 230. What? Oh, okay, here we go. With height. Oh, I changed the wrong thing. 20. There we are. And yeah, this is just about how much to have between them. So I approximately know where to put them. Yeah, okay, that's just about right. I know, I know what's pissing you off. <laughs> but see, here's the thing, dude. The nice thing that I can do now is do this, select up everything, and do this. There. Happy? <laughs> ones are all off by a bit. There we go. Okay, that looks better. Nope, what? <laughs> oh, see, this is... Still can see the bad... What's what's with bad... What bad placement? It's fine. Hehehehe. <laughs> I used the box and everything, jeez. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, honestly, that's fine, and these are, like, so tiny, you're not even really gonna see them. It's not gonna be noticeable. Alright. Exporting to ladder.png. So. The thing that I was bloody fixing... I'm just gonna change this. Where are my sprites? Sprites are actually in here. Perfect. Uh, sprites. Buildings. <laughs> well, I mean, Cox, you're gonna notice it because you're watching these. No one else is gonna notice. It's gonna be fine. As long as no one watches these videos, I'll be fine. I'm, I'm only like making these videos so they're not watched. Okay. That is specifically why I'm making these. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Uh, where are rope ladders introduced? <laughs> All right, ladders are level 13 and onward. Let's find level 13. <laughs> no, no, the video is still not watched. You don't count as a watcher. I will only accept the one and only watcher. If you have a base on the moon, then I will accept you as a watcher. 
Alright. Oh. Okay, you gotta admit, that's like... <laughs> sure you do. Okay, hang on. Let's see if I can change this in the prefabs. Buildings, pillars, stairs. Excellent. And this one we should be able to revert to prefab. Aha! Okay, you gotta admit, that looks a lot more like rope ladder than the previous just like having a rope thing. Like that looks a lot better. It's a bit thin, but it should be fine. That looks like a rope ladder, it's fine. At least for now. <laughs> oh dude, come on, like, space is gonna get corrupted by capitalism in no time. They're just gonna go space mining. The only thing is, um, I need to make these ropes droop but that's not my department, that's art. <laughs> yeah, no. I just provide the bases and then my sister makes them look all pretty. Yeah, let's see. Does that work on all the levels? Oh, whoops, that's the wrong thingy. Yeah! Alright, let's go even further ahead. Okay, right? Like, those rope ladders now make so much more sense. No, what was that a reference to? Oh, so yeah, I really need to, like, be putting chat up in, like, the YouTube replays. Otherwise, I'm just going to sound crazy talking to myself. I can't watch a YouTube video right now. Let's see, level 40. Yeah, okay. That looks much, much better. Aha! Oh, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Alright. Just going on a quick break. Right, okay, now I remember. I don't think I've actually finished uh, Red Alert. Like, at least not... I don't remember that ending from Red Alert, honestly. Why is there a rope there? Alrighty. So that's uh, Teddy. We'll have the ladder, which has. Oh my god, it's so much better now. Not <laughs> what <laughs> we set Nate's size. <laughs> that looked really funny when it was squished. Again, that might uh I might have to make all that stuff thicker cuz it's kind of hard to see. That's that's we'll do that later. Ladder and bookcase. Just like stick this in here. 
Mm. No, just for now. I'm gonna leave the bookcase probably empty. Grab the color from here. Where? I just gotta center all these. Cause yeah, it bugs me too. And stuff isn't centered and things like that. You know what, I'm gonna make this like a bit more interesting. Awesome, we'll see, we'll see. I might stick in the actual bookcase in there. You know, I'm, I, I am gonna try that. Ah, uh, but it won't work. Dang it, yeah. Mm, that won't work. Alright, does that really look what it's supposed to? Yeah. Read that as a bookcase. But just in case, I will be adding some extra images to it. Is that the native size? Dang it. <laughs> Yeah, no, I probably should make these look the same, yeah. No, 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 no. prefabs, buildings, animal station. Oh, shit. Alright. Well, let's magnify this. <laughs> Come on, move it around. Thank you. See, I wanted to look about like that. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but these are transforms and sprite renders. See, I kind of wish these were interchangeable, whereas this is a rec transform, a canvas render, and then an image script. It's really unfortunate. And yeah, also, uh,. So stuff like this cannot go over UI stuff. Isn't it great? Right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab the UI stuff and bring it out here. And then that'll let me kind of work on it better. There we go. Alright, well, let's undo all this. Another book. 
over a little bit. And yeah, the way that I make these books is I put them in the center here, in between two books, and then just do a little rotation. Boom. Easiest way I've found. So one book, and then you just want to copy this over, like, way over there. Just to continue for later on. God dang it. There we go. <laughs> ah, it's gonna be weird. You know, no, no. I'm just gonna leave that, and I'm just gonna flip it back over. Come on. Is that okay? Perfect, that works. And then four more books and a twistable. <clears throat> there we are. can uh, cheat a little bit, grab these, move them here, yes, alright, grab this one, move it like here, and then grab these four, move them down here, oh that's so much easier, grab this one, move it here, And then grab three of these and move them down here. Perfect. There you have it, Quillix. <laughs> and then we're just going to be like randomly assigning these. These don't have to be the same because they'll never be the same in game. Don't want to have the same ones touching. And yeah, I'm gonna have to give all these, like, random colors. But yeah, if, like, any Unity, like, if any developers that actually work at Unity and work on this, it will be so very nice if you could unify, like, canvas images and sprites. Like, it would make UI stuff so much easier. So much easier. Especially with stuff like upgrades like this.
And then random colors. And yeah, they don't all have to be like the same strength or anything. Yeah, I'm just like completely randomly assigning these. Does not really whatsoever matter. Well, it matters a bit, kind of what they are. There's still a really bad yellow. This is weird. There we go, sure. There we are, sweet. All right, got the bookcase. Excellent, got it centered. Yeah, that looks so much better now that the books are colored in. Okay. Oh wow, it's 4.30, geez. I'm probably gonna keep going, well, actually, it's probably about time to stop. I've been going for like, three hours. <sighs> when did I start? Like one? Yeah. I'm going for like three and a half hours. Uh, I should probably end it around here now. Well, I mean, there we go. We got like a lot of it done. And then next time around, we're probably just gonna finish this off. And then on top of that, um, start working on everything else. Start working on well we got to finish off the friends and then actually like make a script to kind of hook all this together yeah but yeah this is uh this is actually turning out really nice i quite like it all right so um well that's about it for now so if you guys enjoy this don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching this on zavod on twitch do follow if you're interested and on top of that, uh, let's see, I'll probably be doing, like, a little bit of Bioshock Remastered, like, streaming that, because I've been meaning to get in, back into, like, more FPS games. Like, I need a sh good shooter game. So I'm going to be streaming some Bioshock Remastered, so stick around. Stick around if you guys are interested in watching that. Anyway, I'm going to take, like, a 15-minute break. Probably more. Like, I'm going to take a half-hour break, and then at around 5, I'll be streaming Bioshock Infinite. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you all around.